Hey everybody, welcome to the Double Stuff Podcast, where double the hosts, double the topics, double the fun. I'm Sarah. I'm Charity. And I'm Sarah. And I'm still Charity. Yeah, so the two Sarahs and the two Charities come together. <laughs> we want to make the sure host. you still get that four-person experience, even though there's only two of us. Yeah, <laughs> not like we've been doing this each time where it's just the two of us <laughs> together. Hey, consistency is key. We want to give the people what they want. Yeah, you, you guys want this, right? Of course you do. Of course okay. you do, because <laughs> you're not here to say no. Hey, of course you do. Shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, yeah, we are in our fourth year recording. Mm-hmm. We are on our 21st season. 20, oh, we're legal age. We're legal we're age. 21st season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have done over 200 episodes. That's crazy. And this is our 10th sisterly conversation oh, in the series. Oh, you've been keeping track of all that. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't even have any of these stats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, t- 10 is a nice even number, I think. Um, so for those of you who don't know, we're, we're going to go ahead and bring the... Uh, bring double stuff to a close. We've been doing this for a good four years, and I uh, think it's time to move on, kind of do some other things. So I think I think we've been doing good. This has given us a good project, given us good practice into talking in front of a mic and actually hopefully sounding interesting <laughs> <laughs> in between. So, yeah, so we're going to be kind of transitioning a little bit. So Yeah, don't go away. There's still more fun to be had just yeah. on a different channel. Yeah. Wow, Charity, why would you say that for? Do you have something you want to tell us? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could. <laughs> this is the perfect time to announce um, that Sarah and I are going to be doing our own podcast. So it's kind of like when the members of a band split up and <laughs> we're, we're doing our own thing. But not... There's no animosity, so we don't want anyone to think that, like, oh, I hate Dan. I hate yeah. Alan. That's not the case at all. We're just... And no one hates us. <laughs> we're just bringing it to a close, and we're starting something new. And hopefully, if you've enjoyed listening to Double Stuff Podcasts over the past four years, you'll have fun listening to Sarah and I talk about some different topics. I feel like with Double Stuff, we did a lot of, um, a lot of personal stories about our upbringing and things that we remember from old jobs and, and all of that stuff. I feel like with this one, um, the idea is to kind of give a, a morning show experience in a nutshell is sort of the best way to explain it. Um, Cause I'm just thinking back to some of the jobs that I've had and I was working really early morning shifts. And so, you know, if you listen to the radio, you hear a great morning show, you know, the DJs are very lively and are talking about celebrity gossip and fun questions and people are calling in. But normally the, the average commute if you're driving around town, it's probably 15 or 20 minutes, you know, Mm -hmm. but a regular morning show can last a couple hours. And most of the time, by the time you pull up into your driveway at home or going to work or whatever, the show's still going on, but then you turn it off and you don't get to really listen to it unless you choose to go back and listen to it, which I never did. Yeah. So I was like, well, let's just give a quick morning show blurb in a nutshell. So the new podcast that Sarah and I are doing is called Bobbleheads on the Dash. Um, And the idea kind of came from a few years ago, our dad gave us uh, little bobbleheads of us for Christmas. And if you follow our Lee Harmon sisters page, we actually use those bobbleheads in a promotion for How Do We Shrunk Ourselves for our Harmons and Hollywood movie series. And so um, I decided that, you know, if you're driving along and listening to a podcast, which is most of the time where people are listening, you know, if Sarah and I are accompanying you on your trip to anywhere, mm-hmm. we're kind of like your little bobbleheads on the dash, just kind of moving and grooving to the music, just kind of going along yeah. for the ride. and Keep, keeping, keeping you company. Yeah, keeping you company. So what we're going to do for this one, one is um, I'm going to ask Sarah a question or Sarah will pose a question to me and then we're going to start a timer and it's going to go for 15 minutes and when the alarm goes off no matter where we're at in a conversation that's where it ends so we're just going to make sure that by the time you pull up to work or wherever you're at you're not going to miss any more of the show because it'll be over so just yeah. a quick morning show experience in a nutshell it's kind of interesting that it's called on the dash because I always thought about that because on the dash yes on the dashboard but also when you think about that it's like on the go so like bobbleheads and oh, there, yeah. there, there's movement involved like on the go like 
like we're we're helping you on your way is very expedient, you know. Oh, that's deep. I know. That that's <laughs> deep and philosophical here on this double stuff podcast episode. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, we must <laughs> a little too intellectual for the audience apparently. But for people who that have enjoyed this series over the past four years, we're still gonna keep everything up. So oh, yeah. if you're listening on YouTube or you've heard our promos on Facebook and Instagram and stuff, um, that's still going to be available. So don't worry. Those episodes aren't going away Mm because we're proud of what we've done over the past few years. And we don't want that all to go away. Um, But our new stuff, if you're not following us already, we have our We Harmon Sisters page on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Mm -hmm. Uh, YouTube should be set up by the time you guys are listening to this. And so that's where the new podcasts and new promos are going to be. And if you're already following us, you probably have already seen like the We Harmon Sisters page just kind of documents our adventures around town and what Mm -hmm. we do at Tallgrass and and wherever else. So it'll kind of be a mixture of a lot of things, but you will find our podcast episodes there. Yeah. So, so we're, we're, we're kind of, we're branching out, kind of starting our own thing. Mm-hmm. It's kind of interesting because, um, in a previous recording, Trini mentioned like, this is basically a spinoff. Like when you watch a lot of TV shows and then they go into a, a, another series within it using some yeah, of Yeah. So we started off with Cheers. Now we're going to Frasier. That's, <laughs> that's what's happening here. We are starting Frasier. Yeah. No, no <laughs> pressure on that one. <laughs> but I, I never thought of it like that of us being in a spinoff because that's I mean that's exactly what it is mm-hmm. and I yeah I never really put it in that in that light but yeah because we're kind of doing our own thing now mm-hmm. um, but double stuff has been a good practice for us because one of the one of the big things that I wanted to get out of us doing double stuff was one to get used to being uh, in front of a mic I, I will say you know when we do get together to record you know we we often record multiple episodes in one shift that way we can kind of build up um, a bunch of episodes in the can so we can, you know, edit those later. So I feel like, you know, the first episode we're kind of warming up. The second episode we record, you know, that's good. The third one, we might get a little loopy. <laughs> like there's something that will catch us funny yeah. or, you know, so- someone will say something goofy or whatever. Because we've had had moments where it's it's kind of a giggling fit yeah. where we have to like yeah. stop the record and we're like, why are we laughing? You know, like someone's, you know gassed us or something so I'm like I don't know what's happening but there, there are some weird just yeah. cracking up at the dumbest things everything everything stays on record the mic is still hot so <laughs> so it's, 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 it's worked to our advantage Audio sometimes production 101 if you um are studying production of any kind I don't care if there's no lights on you could be in an empty studio if you're in the vicinity <laughs> of a microphone or a camera somewhere beware yeah just be aware that someone's probably watching someone's listening and you don't want to do or say something stupid (laughs) that you don't want someone to see on camera later so just just beware of that I've actually had to tell you know interns that you know just you know just the mic's always hot and and not like we're nervous and you know being around stuff like that but there's still some work to be involved to at least sound like we know what we're talking about I think there's a timing and there's a flow that goes with it and Mm -hmm. that only comes through practice yeah. And also it kind of helps me to not, I mean, you just now, like all the stuttering and stuff, you know, trying to get your thoughts out. So in four, in four years, we have learned nothing, uh, but we're still trying. We're still trying. <laughs> if only you knew how many ums and pauses that we've cut out, that'd be a whole, that's a whole other series. That's, that's the magic of <laughs> editing though. That's the great thing that you can take out all the mistakes. Yeah. Like if there was a series called, um, uh, and then nothing then that yeah that would have like 500 episodes some of our mistakes have been hilarious though because if if you've been following us for a while there's one mistake i'm thinking of where alan was trying to end the show and i (laughs) I think it took him about four tries and he could not gather his thoughts and get his sentence out so you know mistakes can be hilarious and sometimes we leave those in and And, and and sometimes sometimes those become titles of the show that's true now that's the thing you know i I was actually going to move on to you know what's something that you've enjoyed over the past four years that has something that has been something that was really unique it's just the the titles that you come up with during the show and you usually don't know what it is until the episode's over and Mm -hmm. there's a certain part that we may have referenced or laughed at a lot and you know I can I actually got (laughs) I could tell when we would laugh about something and I would look at you and be like okay okay that's 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 the title title of this episode (laughs) you know Eugene the cowboy or something like that I I, kind of learned to read you a little bit 
bit more during this podcast series. That, that's what makes it fun. At, at least for Double Stuff, that was fun because you don't know what the show is about based on the title. Because it's like, what? What's a, <laughs> <laughs> you don't trust people without sideburns? What the heck does that mean? <laughs> you know, so that's always kind of fun. But so, yeah. So looking back over the past four years, what's what's been your favorite part? What's something that you've enjoyed uh, during this time of podcasting? Oh, the, the part I enjoy the most is just being with everybody and uh, doing the recording. I mean, I know there's a whole lot more to it, obviously, because you have the editing and, you know, adding the music and making the promos. And and what I've actually done uh, all the promos for the shows, but um, but just coming together, that's a lot of fun because, you know, at least me personally, I'm not able to hang out with a lot of people. So the times we're able to come together and have basically a conversation that happens to be recorded uh, that's actually a lot of fun. I, I think our job, you know, depending on what we're doing at the time, it, it kind of lends itself to isolation. Because I was, I was talking to a coworker one time and she was like, you know, you edit videos all day. What do you do when you go home? I said, edit videos. videos yeah. <laughs> you know, because if, <laughs> if I'm not working on stuff at, at work, then I'm, you know, doing stuff for our TikTok page or we're working on our documentary stuff now. So, you know, it's something that you have to be passionate about because you're literally doing it 24 seven. Yeah. My, my hobby is also my career. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. We need t-shirts that say that my hobby is my well, career. It's, it's like those, uh, <laughs> for people who do cross country, it says my sport is your sports punishment. Oh, I've seen those. You, yeah. Where you run. Yeah. So that's kind of, I've kind of feel like <laughs> that's the vibe <laughs> we're getting with these shirts. Um, I would say my favorite thing of podcasting the past four years were the scripted episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. partially because I did write a lot of them because that's something I've wanted to do for, for many, many years. Uh, we've talked on a show about cabin pressure, which if you haven't listened to it, BBC radio comedy, written by John Finnamore. Um, Super hilarious. I started listening to that uh, when I was in college. And after listening to that, I was just hooked on the idea of doing radio comedy and scripted stuff. And so the times that we got a chance to do it on Double Step was super fun. Uh, The Halloween episode was great because Alan's daughters got involved. And so it was fun to have them come in and read with us. We had Uh, Sierra. Sierra Scott. Fabulous Sierra Scott. She got to be our mysterious lady. uh, Slash narrator. Yeah, that kind of, um, you know, led the story on, which is super fun. But then we just had some fun ones, like the King Alan of Bel Air rap that I had him do, (laughs) or the rhyming episode, which was super funny. And that because I read some Dr. Seuss books and I already had rhyming words in my head. And so that made it easier to write. So there's just certain moments where I remember writing it and just laughing to myself. The scripted episode where we shrunk Dan was super (laughs) funny and that was super easy to write. And I was just like, Dan's going to be perfect for this, you know? So just pairing each scripted part with, with us. Cause I know we're not really, we're not really actors. And so I wanted to write it in a way that, Seem natural. Yeah, that we would naturally say it, so it would only take minimal acting. But I would say the the scripted episodes were probably some of my favorite moments of Double Stuffed. Yeah, same. Um, you know, it's Charity, Charity's influence for radio. I mean, it's kind of similar to mine, but like a lot of the historical radio shows, like I've mentioned, listening to like the Jack Benny program and Fred McGee and Molly. So <laughs> I've listened to a lot of stuff from like the 30s, 40s, and 50s that were kind of my inspiration. And, and a few modern podcasts, too, but mainly stuff from that era. And so sometimes I try to do my stuff in a way that kind of fits. I guess it's in that style, but just, I guess, modernized. And so one of my favorite of the written ones uh, was uh, Christmas of 2022. We did our little series of uh, Christmas specials, and it was the Jingle Bells one. And uh, th- I think I like that one a lot because there, there's, <laughs> it's, it's a, there's a bit of historical accuracy to it, but it's still very absurd just within it, incorporating the, some lyrics of the actual song and all that kind of stuff. So that, that's, that's, that was kind of done in like a classical <laughs> comedy way. Um, and then for those of you who have listened to us, you know, from the start, uh, we talked about our, our, our mysterious button, our roundish, flattish, <laughs> circle of squarish button. Now that's a really old <laughs> joke, a really old reference. Yeah. yeah. And, and we, and we've used that throughout the past four years, but um, that was based off of of an idea for a script I had written back when I think when I was in high school. So there's a lot of ideas I've been writing, at least since I was at least 12 years old, that at the time I didn't know. I was like, well, I get real old. Um, I can be able to use it. <laughs> like 30. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> and so it's interesting that I had such good ideas back then. I just didn't know what to do with them. So now, not even just for the podcast, I'm starting to utilize some ideas that I still had written all those years and utilizing it now. One of them was that was for something completely different, but I kind of changed it a little bit to kind of fit with the podcast, but it was pretty much unchanged. I guess it shouldn't be too surprising, but it's still kind of cool when it happens because we've been doing the podcast and because we've kind of been in the public eye more, uh, people are starting to recognize us. How was that? Someone recognized our voice or maybe, yeah. maybe it was you or at which Utah State or something, some they were like, you sound like someone I've been listening to on a podcast. That has actually happened at least at least maybe three times, maybe four times, mm-hmm. that maybe they didn't recognize our faces, but are like, your voice sounds very familiar. Which and, is weird because I feel like my voice is just average. Yeah. You, you sound different to yourself and the way other people listen to you. I, I've always known my voice has been different. Uh, so much so that, you know, at least when you're a kid, a lot of people, you sound like a boy, you know, kind of thing. Okay, well, I, was, I wasn't even leaning in that direction. But it's also a thing that, like, <laughs> my voice has always been different, I've, you know, because it doesn't really fit with whatever the stereotype is. It's very unique. So I guess with that, I guess but that's finally, a, after all these years, it's kind of worked to my that's advantage. That's a lot of female voices on radio. It's that, like, yeah. Um, I was going to say smoky. That's not the right word. Like, oh, sultry? So, yeah, sultry sounds a bit sexy. Just, yeah, it does. Just a deeper register. Let's just yeah, go with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's that. I don't want to get all <laughs> weird on <laughs> but, but it's all. But also people are starting to recognize our face. That's um, true. Now, our picture has made the rounds on various <laughs> social media platforms. Yeah. It just depends on what uh, braid color we have in. Yeah, yeah. And, and, like, at least for our We Harmon Sisters brand, um, I have pink braids. And, and I've got green. Yeah. And so, you, even if we don't have that, but also just the fact that I have the pink hair, that's, I mean, that stands out. That's not a natural hair color. So most people, <laughs> you know. But, yeah, I've had people, like, at the store, like you know, like you tell like you tell someone's looking at you, but you purposely don't make eye contact. Like, you, don't... you look familiar, <laughs> but you know you don't want to be the weirdo to come up and ask. Yeah, and so uh, I was at the store uh, a couple weeks ago, and someone it was a mom and daughter, and they were like, "Do you do you and your sister like do movies or, or podcasts <laughs> or something like that?" So it's happened more than once well, at, that, at a store with people that, to be honest, we really don't know. That lady stopped us in the frozen food aisle. She was like, "You're oh, the yeah. movie girls, aren't?" You? And I was like, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's one of many things. So, but, yeah. but it's kind of fun. I, I do feel like with all the things that we've done in the public eye, we've really gotten a chance to know the community. I don't think people think of Wichita as this hub of, of media and, you know, filmmaking and all of that. But, you know, when you do events like Tall Grass or you get a chance to, to reach out to different people, there are a lot of people like you. And that's fun mm-hmm. to kind of find other people who are like minded that you can kind of geek out with about <laughs> classic movies or about Wichita history or films or whatever. And that, that's always fun. So we have, thanks to the podcast and many other projects, we have had a lot of fun meeting uh, just different people within our own city. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. It's like it's something that we wanted to happen, but now that it actually is, it's like okay, this it's happening. This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> so, in looking forward to to the new series, what's something you what's something you're looking forward to? Because I kind of talked a little bit about that, but what what are you looking forward to for the new the Bobbleheads on the Dash series? Uh, I think I'm just curious how I'll sound, and it will be a little bit different. I don't think it's gonna be drastically different because it's not like. I don't know who you are and how our <laughs> dynamic works. But I think it's also just the fact that this is our first series for sure with the two of us doing it. Yeah. And so I'm kind of curious how that's going to um, how that's going to sound through a podcast series versus just a conversation that we just have sitting in the living room. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of curious how that's going to go. I've, I've seen so many videos of people like... When you're like, oh, I don't want to do look like that. You know? Yeah, or, or something. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay. Because being on a podcast anyway, I knew... I'm like, okay, I'm going to put myself out there. You know, even everything you say, it might be of a personal nature and stuff, but it's still something regarding you. So it's like, all right, here we go. So, <laughs> you know, I guess it's just that. I, again, it's just, it's like, I know what to expect, but at the same time, 
time I don't. But I, I am kind of looking forward to doing something new-ish. Well, on a on a recent Double Stuff podcast, you know, we were talking about podcasting and Alan brought up, you know, how podcasting has changed in the mm-hmm. past few years to where it is more video based. Like it's still in the podcast genre, but you've got cameras and people can see you and you've yeah. got lights and you know, you're cutting back and forth. You're like, so it's become more of a production. Yeah. Um, so this will be a little bit different. So I don't know if we explained this before. Oh, we didn't. Yeah. yeah this is going to be televised. Yeah. So <laughs> you'll actually get to see us um, and see, see our lovely faces. I know Dan talked about his, uh, his, his work, radio face, his radio face and his work from <laughs> home. So we will, we, we won't give you our work from home look, but um, you'll be able to find us. Uh, I did mention this. You'll be able to find us on We Harmon Sisters on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube Mm -hmm. um, and you'll be able to see our promos for the show um, and then most of our stuff will be on YouTube so you can watch and listen to our episodes there so we hope that you'll join us Um, if I didn't mention it before all of our stuff will still remain Mm -hmm. on Double Stuff Podcast so we're going to keep our episodes up because we're very proud of what we've done and we had a good time making it and then we also still have access to our social media pages so if you still choose to reach out to us through our Double Stuff platforms we'll still respond to you that way but if you want to mosey on along to we Harmon sisters that's where you can find me and sarah all right thanks guys trader already did the whole contact information so i, know, I won't it's, repeat it's myself it's my turn that's the letter p <laughs> <laughs>